Hey everybody, T1 Glistener Elf here, playing another game of Vintage. This is the Untap Open League, round four for season five. I'm once again playing Taking Turns, good old Jay's Friends Prodigy Snapcaster, but most importantly, God Eternal Kefnet deck. Uh, one Jace, one Big Jace, one Daddy Jace, one Baby Jace. Bunch of stuff like this, and then basically 13 copies of Time Walk. Albeit, uh, 12 of them are a little more expensive. And then we have Oops All Spells for Vintage. Now, I know what you're thinking, we'll get there. Alright, so, Wild Cantor, shouts to the only one drop. Narco Amoeba, of course, because you're trying to mill yourself out. Oh, for those that don't know how this deck works, you're trying to either play Balustrade Spy, target yourself, so target player reveals cards from the top of their deck till they hit a land, put the rest in their grave. Well, you have no lands, so that's just your whole thing. Same thing with Undercity Informer, except it costs three, but sacks for one, so it's, it's still four mana. So the object is to try to make four mana, and turns out that's actually kind of easy and vintage. We have Black Lotus, Chrome Mox, Lotus Petal, not a full set of Moxen, uh, and then yeah, a lot of uh, mana creatures. We have Elvish Spirit Guide, Simian Spirit Guide. You already saw the Wild Canter. There's, um... I don't know, these are the payoff stuff. And then Chance of the Annex to try to protect the uh, the combo a little bit. Now, the way this is supposed to work is that you play one of these, you know, Undercity or Balustrade, and then, let's see, you hit Narco Amoebas, you Cabal Therapy to name Force of Will, usually, or something like that, something you think will stop you. Mindbreak Trap, or what have you. And then, here is Dread Return. Now you cast Dread Return, returning, uh, where are you? Angel of Glory's Rise, which exiles all zombies, which no one cares. Then return all human cards from your grave to the battlefield. You get back a zombie and Laboratory Maniac, both of which are both humans and wizards. And a zombie has this neat little ability, tap an untapped wizard you control, draw a card, and Laboratory Maniac has this neat little ability, if you would draw it you, with no cards in your library, which you have none, you milled yourself out, you win the game. That's, that seems pretty good. The one tiny little thing I have a problem with here is that there's a, a combo you can do that frees up a card in your deck. You don't have Angel or a Zombie, you replace them both with Underworld Cerberus. And Underworld Cerberus, when it ETBs, you get to bring back all creatures from your grave back to your hand. So you bring back Wild Canter, Elvish, Simeon, Laboratory Maniac, play the Laboratory Maniac, and then since you have an extra slot open, because you're not using both of these, you put in a Street Wraith, which can help improve the consistency of the deck anyway. So Laboratory Maniac comes down, Street Wraith, draw a card, and there you go. So that's the idea. This one has something else going for it though, which is if they try to take out uh, a zombie or lab maniac with like a lightning bolt, then you can just tap the other one in response. So they need two. Uh, this is a fun little deck. <laughs> this is a fun, fun little deck. Uh, and then, yeah, the rest is like you've got your probe, your mental misstep, that sort of thing. Uh, whoa, that was a bit... Keep. Okay, cool. I will keep. Alright, so I know what I'm up against. So I know that on the first turn here, I need to play a land play a ponder. I'm gonna ponder actually instead of the preordain and that may seem a little bit odd but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find force of will and this lets me dig just a little bit more to find it and I only have force of will in the main deck to save me that's it that's actual factual it just force of will um, I can't see what this is oh it's a mental misstep okay cool that'll oh hello That'll do it, and my internet is slow, so I apologize. That's unfortunately going to be a thing. Alright, so we're probably dead here. Just keeping it real, we're probably dead. Texting probe. Reveal all once. There we go. So it just reveals these cards, but not cards that I draw in the future. Yeah, coast is clear, bud. Alright, untap, upkeep, draw. There we go. Uh, let's try this again. Preordain. Can we get there? 
All right. So I could have done the Jace there instead, but this makes sense, in my opinion, in my estimation. So look at the top two cards. It's a touchpad, so I've got to be careful I don't act. Oh, jeez. Aha! Well, we found a Force of Will. So let's do this. And... Yeah, just draw the card. I think we're okay with having a Mox afterwards. Uh, put this in the yard. Draw. And then play a land. And pass. There we go. So now things are looking better. Shoutouts to just eating raw vegetables. They're good for you here. Whoa! That was quick. Uh-oh. I mean, they know about it. I might as well. And then pass the turn. Two cards in the yard. We'll get there. Not yet, but we'll get there. That was maybe a risky keep. I mean, it had mental misstep uh, Getaxian Probe, so I, I guess I don't blame him. Let's draw first. There's a Preordain, which I think we would like to cast first here. So there's that. Since mental missteps at one, we know that this is safe to go off. Um, actually, you know what? Let's look at the deck list again. I, there shouldn't be any Force of Will, and there's no way they're using Pact here. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's good. Okay. Um. Okay. Just making sure. I don't, I don't know why. I, I just looked at the deck. I guess I could try to <laughs> tempt them into doing Pact. That is a way to concede. Look at the top two cards. Oh, a zombie in the yard. That's fair. Um, I mean, these aren't bad, but I would like to have some lands. So I'm actually going to do something a little weird. I'm, I'm definitely bottoming you. You're definitely going on the bottom, bud. I think I'm also supposed to... Oh, that Kefnet is so good, though. Um... Hmm. Hmm. This is tough. I think I'm supposed to keep the Kefnet here. Keep Kefnet, draw Kefnet, and then try to get there with Jace. To get the extra land with Jace. Alright. So we'll keep that. Here we go. Alright, cool. And put that in. Pass the turn. Not yet, not yet, because if, if we need to cast Force of Will, then we'll have five cards after Jace resolves his ability, if we need to. Otherwise, we'll just activate Jace twice. Uh, we'll say, end of turn. Alright, activate. Oh, there's a Mox, at least. Draw. Ooh, uh, the Preordain's pretty good. Well, we, they already know about this, so let's, uh, let's discard you, and then go to my turn. Alright, cool. So now, uh, untap everything. Hello? Draw a card. Oh, we still didn't get there. Huh. I mean, it happens. Let's try again. Activate. Just making sure, just making sure, folks. You never know. They might have a response to this merfolk looter. Merfolk looter. What is that? Dadgummit. Well, that's that's not a lamb, but that's, that's still pretty good, I hear. So, we will keep that, and we will discard you. And now, Jace gets to activate. Uh, now. Oh. Oh, um... This should be it. This should be the one, I believe. Insert into hand, insert into play. No, no, no. Where's Telepath? This is actual factual Telepath Unbound. I forgot where to find you, apparently. 
Okay, okay, here we go. It, it works, I guess. Hey, we got there. Cool. That took entirely too long. That took an embarrassingly long amount of time. Alright. I'm gonna put you over here, bud. Like, we know what you are, but... Eh, whatever. Alright, so cool. You're gonna go up to six, I believe. There is a cheeky side of me that doesn't want to take Jace up to six. Oh, crap. Add counter. Here we are. It's been a while since I've used one of these. Let's see. Hmm. So, what I could do, what I could do is Ancestral, Flashback Ancestral. But I think that what I would like to do instead is tick Jace up. I can hold the Ancestral. I don't have to do it now. I can also get some information off of this preordained first. Hmm. I'm assuming that it's just going to be good. Alright. Ooh! Next card. The time warp is not in the best of spots. draw. There we go. Put that in the yard. And then me being a little OCD, I guess. I think we're just going to tick Jace up. Tick up. Pass the turn. Alright, Pinecone, what you got? A new card. Ooh, okay. At least therapy does something. Since we already got the mental misstep out of the way, this thing is pretty good to resolve. Should be, anyway. Ooh, okay. No response. There we go. One, two, three. One. Two, three! Yeah, we're going on the Kefnet beatdown plan this game. That's what it's looking like. <laughs> oh, hello. Let's do it. Ta da! Okay. Hmm. Double force of will. I think we're in okay shape. Good old Kefnet. Alright, and then, um, yeah, let's just tick up to do nothing. Sure. You know, let's see. No, this is good, this is good. Alright, and then we'll pass turn. See what you got. Okay. Hmm. I mean, you've got to go through double force of will now. <laughs> right now. It does not get better as this goes on. I'm going to say... Thinking. Do I... No, I don't want to brainstorm here. Especially not since I already have a fetch land. We're just going to untap... Now I have to do some special Kefnet shenanigans. Look at the top card. Nope, not revealing. Oh well. Yeah, shoutouts to Kefnet. You're pretty cool, dude. You're pretty cool. Hmm, maybe I should have brainstormed first. Or, you know what, I could just not brainstorm here. Let's end this. Let's end this. See if we got this. 
I have a sneaking suspicion that this is the game. This should be the game. Now, I can fetch end of turn and then brainstorm to put another one on top of my deck. And that would be okay. That'd be a thing. Quattro. Alright. Tick up. Main phase two. I think I actually do want to do this now. So, I can brainstorm and then guarantee that I'll have a copy that I can do with Kefnet because I'll be able to put one from t the top of my hand. Uh, this does mean I don't get a perfect score though. I don't get a perfect score from PC Mac now. Alright. I don't know where I first heard that, but that is stuck with me. Uh, it's probably Rich at Review Tech. Review Tech USA. Alright. Shout out to Rich. Okay. So this is going to be one, two, three. Ah, uh, we only get one. We only get the one. Oh well. Oh well, that's all. We only get one extra. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, look at, look at this, folks. Look at this. Well, we don't need the Force of Will right now, so I'm going to put one Force of Will back, and then the other is going to be this. Hello? That was fun. Next turn. Untap. Reveal. Oh, wait. How do I actually just straight up reveal this? don't, do I? Huh. I guess that's one way to do it. One, two, three. Cast the copy, put it into my hand. Reveal. Soul Ring. Sapphire Medallion. Oh, you know what? I'm supposed to go comp. There we go. That was fun. That was fun. Good times. Good times, folks. Alright. It's cool. We're gonna go to our next turn, I believe. We'll, we'll play this out first. <laughs> Rearrange the board just to be a little OCD, I suppose. Uh huh. Let's see, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I mean, we, we actually have lethal here. We don't have to, like, because I have Jace, I can just flash back. All right. I know what the next card is. It's a force of will. No, no matter, no bother. No bothering. That is a really, really late thing. Okay, okay. That's good. Uh. Flashback? Yeah. Game two? Yeah, that's, uh, Kefnet's kind of good. It's just a little good. Alright, so let's go to our next game. Go on to sideboards. Let's see. So, some of these are going to be pretty clear. Damping Sphere against the, I'm going to cast a bunch of cards in a turn deck. That makes sense. Flusterstorm, same. Graph Digger's Cage also seems really good. Uh, now, I say that, there may be a backup. I, I did see earlier when I was looking 
that there is the backup Charbelcher plan. They're gonna sideboard into Charbelcher, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that looks like exactly what they're gonna do. So maybe I don't bring in the Graft Digger's Cages. Um, is there anything... Dread Return, they still... I would think they would still leave that in, right? Cabal Therapy... Uh... Narcomiva doesn't work. But that's probably a card... Oh, aren't those the cards... So I know the sideboard is into Charbelcher. I don't know how they sideboard. But I'm going to leave the cages, actually. I, this may be wrong. Maybe I should take... Okay, actually, you know what? I'll finish this, but let me see what cards I have that are dead first. That's uh, probably the better way to go about doing it. And the answer is not much. Not much that's just actually dead. I can take out some extra turn spells, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, take out some extra turns... Hmm... I have not been terribly keen on that second Jace Friends Prodigy. Uh, I still want you in, bud. I do, I do, I do. Especially for counter spells actually furthering my game a little bit. I, I think I'm just going to take out two extra turn spells. One Temporal, and one Capture. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll do one Time Warp. One Time Warp. They did see Capture, though, so I'm trying to hit them on Cabal Therapy, is, is the, the reason why I'm diversifying what I'm taking out. They saw Capture a lot, so maybe they're more inclined to name Capture. Um, so this is all that I need to bring in. I can bring in a Graph Digger's Cage, but I'm, I'm worried that it's not going to do much. Let's look at Spoils of the Vault one more time. Yeah, Graph Digger's Cage doesn't affect that. Doesn't affect that, yeah. Okay, so, never mind. There's, uh, there's not much going on there. Alright, so yeah, I'm just going to do this. So many decks in Vintage have to have four sideboard Graph Digger's Cage. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to pass to my opponent here, just a sec. Where is thinking? There we go. This seems... Oh, this seems... Not, not bad, so I can go Island, Mox, Soul Ring, Medallion. And then turn two, I can start taking extra turns. But I don't have any payoff after that. I'll say keep. It's risky. I could just lose on turn one here. Or two. Turn one or two. Ooh, okay. Ooh, huh. That's not great. Has drawn seven, put them back. Drawn seven, put them back. Drawn seven, keep. That's to five, right? Oi. Oi. Not like this. Not like this. Alright. Anything Anything you want to start the game off with? To be fair, the deck has some cards, like a zombie and lab maniac, that you don't want in the hand. Oh. Uh. Keeping. Oh. Uh. Oi. Uh. <laughs> I just meant, like, well, that's tough. Are you on the plate? Okay, there we go. Got there. We got there. Okay, well, I'm not dead yet. Ooh, ooh, hello. Hello, Jace.
not de I'm not dead yet, but uh, I wanted to. I wanted to. Uh oh. G G G. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. Black, black, green. Uh, no response. <laughs> Yeah, for a hand this fast. So my logic in keeping a hand like that was... Ooh, ha oh! Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> oh! <laughs> was that they were going to be a little slower than either a Charbelcher or an Oops All Spells deck once they went to sideboards like this. Let me get some more tomatoes out. Well, actually, first, let me... Hidden mode activated. Secret ninjutsu. <laughs> Saved for such a time as this. Hmm. <laughs> uh, so, there's only one brainstorm. There's not much of a reason not to use the scalding tarn here. Only one brainstorm, one ponder. And I have neither in my hand, so I'm tempted to deck then. Uh, yeah, I, I think I will. This looks so dumb. This looks so dumb. I love this game. Can you tell? Can you tell, folks? I love this game. Alright. So there you are. Let's take an extra turn. Give me one step closer. Next. Alright. Make sure I don't mess anything up here. At least that's the goal. Um. Jace brains. Mm, that's the reason, Jay, you idiot. Oh, Jace is a brainstorm. <laughs> Jace has a brainstorm. Oh, you're so dumb. Oh, well. Okay, okay. Well, that happened. I could I could hear someone screaming out over over in the comment section. You idiot! You have one in your hand. One brainstorm, one ponder, two Jaces. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's. Uh, this is only a two-two. So brainstorm. And I say brainstorm because, well, there's no indication uh, with a counter. So we'll just draw, draw, and of course now I see another brainstorm because, of course, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Folks, folks, my friends, it just keeps happening. Alright, so what are two cards I really don't want to see here? Well, I can get by with... I, I, knew, I do need to keep one land, but I have to put... I'll put one back, and then something else, and I can ponder away the others. Manipulation is fine, but it's not enough on its own. I need to find, like, a Kefnet or something. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you back, 
put you back and then this ponder Yeah, I, I, okay. <clears throat> the Soul Ring probably would have eaten the Mental Misstep, I would think. So look at the top two cards. Uh, yeah, so this one's definitely going on the bottom. Do I, I might actually want to keep it. It's, it's weird, but I think I might actually want to keep it. It guarantees that I'll be able to Fate Seal Jace. Or, or scry, and I'll be able to brainstorm afterwards. So I'll get another brainstorm out of it. So I think I'll keep that one. It's a little risky, but I have force backup as well. Alright. Okay. I'm still gonna I'm still somehow gonna sneak this one out. Alright, Jace? Got it. Riggedy wrecked, Jace gets tracked. So since that one's a given, might as well do that one now. Alright. So I'm assuming that's resolving. I don't know this next card, so I could scry myself and then brainstorm next turn. Scry. Hmm, hmm. I think that's got to be a no. Even though there's a brainstorm, yes, yes, I know. I have an actual brainstorm. Uh, this is gonna be fun, folks. This is gonna be fun. Um, I'm not gonna save the... I'm, oh, do I s save the brainstorm or use it here? Just to dig one card deeper. I think I'm supposed to save the brainstorm. Let's try it. Alright. This feels, this feels like I'm just slipping. Uh-huh, well, did put it on the bottom, so that's just how it goes, I guess. That's just how it goes. Brainstorm. One, two, three. Ooh. 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 Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Put you and you back. Get another of those. One, two, three. Time warp, my friends, it just keeps happening. They're trying to cast a bunch of spells in one turn. I'm trying to cast one spell in a bunch of turns. Alright. Next. Assuming that's good. Alright, cool. Now the next card for me is a fetch land. So do I scry it to the bottom? Do I fate seal my opponent? I'm gonna scry. Well, wait a minute. No, it's fine. I'm gonna scry. I'm defying the logic that you're, you're supposed to keep your fetch land so you can get perfect brainstorms. I know that I'm doing it, and that's unfortunate because that means I'm an idiot. <laughs> Ooh, oh, wait, 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 wrong one. Alright, cool. A. Alright, so then after that, 
next. I'm sorry folks, this taking turns is not the most fun deck to watch and I know it. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Okay, folks. Brainstorm. Alright, one. Hello, two, three, there's top. And another one. As Evangeline would say, another one. Um. Top is pretty good, but I still don't have a Kefnet yet. But stop, top is still pretty good. When you're brainstorming, though, top's not as good. If I'm getting to brainstorm every turn, it's not as big of a deal. I'm gonna put this here. Put this here. And I'm going to fetch. I'm going to actually play it correctly now. Hello? No, no, other direction. There we go. A find a card. We could do a brainstorm here too, the actual card brainstorm. We could do that. We might do that. As he keeps digging. He keeps digging through. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to though. I'm going to say next turn. And of course I'll find yet another fetch land because of course, that's how this game's been going. I've been punished for dropping that fetch land by keeping, by continuously getting fetch lands. All right, what do we have? Preordain. Okay. Oh, did I not shuffle? Oh, I didn't shuffle. Wait, it doesn't auto shuffle. I'm on camera, so you'll know if I'm cheating. May I put this back, shuffle, and draw? No, you gotta hit V. Yeah, it's so weird. When you look through your deck, you'd think it would shuffle afterwards, but I understand why it doesn't. Yes. Okay, cool. So I have to hit V. Hey, we got there. Okay, now, now let's try this again. Okay, that's that works. Um, I think I'm just gonna. Ooh, do I want to ride the Jace, or do I want to? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna brainstorm. I could actually use the other brainstorm itself. Brainstorm, man, Jace is so good. Whoa, look at that. Uh. Oh, no, 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 let's not do it. Let's let's not do him dirty that way. Let's not. Alright. But it does mean that I can just keep doing this for a hot minute. Oh, I should have put the... No, I, I did. I did that correctly. The mock set pearl is on the... is the second card. So that'll be good. Alright, cool. Because, I'm about to scry here. Scry. Top card to the bottom. That was, that's a weird way to tap, but okay. Go off, king. Mmm. Now I'm going to do it. F6. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. One, two, three. Have to put a couple back. Doesn't really matter too much. At this point, none of these cards really matter. So next, do 
don't even... As much as I would like to get two man... Turn all of them into time walk, I think I'm just gonna do this first. Should I... I should scry. Jace, you're getting pretty darn close, bud. Getting pretty darn close. Scry? Ooh, hello. Put you on the bottom. Bottom of the deck. Uh, no, I, I should keep that in my hand, I think. So I'm going to go to 11 here, take another turn, go to 13. But then if I don't find another extra turn, I'm not going to be able to win on that turn. I'll have to unsummon this or something. Uh, or brainstorm again. But I've got a force of will. Huh. I can just force a will on the way down and then ult them next. Uh, no, we're, we're fine. We're going to take another turn. Okay. Ooh. Hello? Hello? I'm bad at this, folks. <gasps> Ooh, brawl. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Next turn. All right, no more turns, no more extra turns anyway, but that Force of Will can just be super hard cast. Uh, should I target them? Should I target myself? I'm going to target them. I have to request permission, so... The request has been sent, and I will have some coffee. Hmm. I see a problem with this strategy. Um, it only works if Pinecone is there. <laughs> Oops. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? Shouts to coffee. Oh, there we go. What is that? Cabal ritual? Um... I think I'm supposed to say put that on the bottom. Bottom, please. Uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a thing. Brawl protect. He protect. Oh, I want, okay, you know what, we're just gonna do it. Just... Okay, so Brawl can protect the Jace, good old blocking, and if I cast Force of Will, I'll get to loot, <laughs> although that won't actually do any good because I just played the, I just played the medallion. Uh Okay. So what does that get? What does that get? I think I'm just supposed to Am I just supposed to counter that? Or am I supposed to counter the thing it goes and gets? I think I'm supposed to counter the thing it goes and gets. There's nothing that says can't be countered here, and it has to get a creature, and it has to be specifically a green creature, right? Green creature. Okay, so green creatures in the deck. Wild can't... There's Tender Wall. That could be it, just for more mana. Tender Wall for mana. Oh. Okay. The fact that it has to get a green creature makes it a little less threatening. <laughs> it could be for a... Uh... Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. 
Folks, I might see a problem here. Manamorphos, do it, do it. This is a May, I think. You may. Baby? Oof. Okay, time to go off. <laughs> My turn to F6. Ah, okay, okay. I was actually kind of wanting you to go off there. I was kind of hoping that you'd make the comeback. Cabal ritual. <laughs> Which is, uh, yeah, black, black. So, well, it's, well, it right now would be black, black, black. Hmm. <laughs> Dark Ritual. Oh. Fair enough. You made the sideboard to Belcher, right? Needed the Millie Boys. Yeah, that'll do it. That will indeed do it. Oh. Ooh, hello, I can I can spell. I should have known. So it, it it's a play draw decision. That's interesting. I thought it was to dodge graveyard hate. I mean that's something that I've seen done before, playing Oopsle spells and then you sideboard into Charbelcher because they're gonna bring in rest in peace or Graft Digger's Cage or whatnot. I, I, maybe that's just a legacy thing? Maybe I'm not familiar with- I'm definitely not familiar with it. You had no ley lines in your list. No ley lines! Graft Digger's Cage, but no ley lines. Yeah. Cage, but no ley lines. That is indeed correct. N not having ley lines can be a problem. In an Amulet of Vigor meta- or an Amulet- Force of Vigor meta, though, I'm a little worried about getting too for two Um... Hmm. Good point, actually. Good point. Hmm. Adios. You rock. Oh, already left. Dang it. Left before I could say you rock. Ah, alright. So, just for our sake, then, the next few cards were Force of Will. <laughs> Snapcast. Okay. So, uh, I think we were in okay shape. I really like the match. I like seeing new decks show up. Vintage is uh, is still an open enough meta that uh, where were all you guys? I was I was legitimately not expecting to win on Jace. I was expecting to use Jace to brainstorm into another win condition, whatever that may be. But as it turns out, often if you're not finding the win cons, it means you're finding more extra turns. <laughs> and so it was, and lo, it was. All right, folks. Take care, Magic community. I will see you all later. Alright, bye-bye. I love this game. I love this game so much.